Children on Tap, what do we have today? Oh, we forgot to introduce ourselves. Yeah. I'm the gnome, and this is our neighborhood Viking, Eli. Howdy. And, uh, do you have a Twitter, Eli? Um, I think I have one. I don't really use it a lot. I'll see if I can find the information for it. <laughs> uh, that shows how often I, I go on my Twitter. Just steal Eli the Viking. Yeah. Just... <laughs> <laughs> so, we have today, it is the holiday season. And uh, Eli has graciously presented himself in front of a Christmas tree, and he came up with the idea of having rival eggnog companies go at each other. So we got, first, why don't you show off what we have? So uh, we got Benchmark, old number eight, um, eggnog, and uh, eggnog with Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, 15% alcohol by volume. Oh, so a nice little 30 proof. And then I have the Evan Williams Original Southern Eggnog, which I did not know the original Southern recipe included Kentucky straight bourbon, whiskey, a blended whiskey, a rum, and a brandy. They're cover, covering all their bases in case they miss something. <laughs> yeah, let's just throw in a vodka and gin. We got ourselves jungle juice, right? Oh, boy. That would, that would, I think that would liven up just about any, any office party you could have. So now we have the two Titans set up. Let's do the tasting. So first we got the Benchmark. Yeah. Um, this is the old number eight brand. And uh, let's see. Oh, let me not put the stain last week. It smells like eggnog. It does. It kind of smells like, uh, kind of like breakfast cereal. Yes. Very much like breakfast cereal. I feel like this is going to be real sugary. It almost smells like cake icing. Yeah, I mean, it always reminds me of that scene in... Um, in Parks and Rec where he freaks out because he accidentally drinks the fat eggnog. <laughs> like, this is probably what's going to happen. Alright, let's try it. Yeah, it tastes like a rum chata. <laughs> yeah. Like rum chata, maybe a little bit of fireball. It pretty much just tastes like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yeah, it's very Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's very I, light. It's not bad though, yeah. I'm not really a giant eggnog person. Uh, but in a pinch, I could I could drink this. This ain't this ain't too bad. Mm-hmm. And now the question is, would you have it at room temperature? <laughs> that is true. Or would you have it cold? And the thing is, if you have it cold, you have to drink it before it becomes room temperature. <laughs> that is true. So once you open a bottle, before you open it, I think you have two months before you have to refrigerate it. But once you open it, you have to immediately put it in the fridge. Yeah. And uh, we, we're shooting a lot of stuff today, so if we get happier as the show goes on... There's a reason for it. <laughs> so I didn't want these sitting <laughs> out all day after they're cold, but this isn't too bad. Yeah. This one's just with uh, whiskey. I guess we're starting off easy tonight. <laughs> yes. Because I feel like there's going to be a big jump between this one and... Uh, and the, the other ones. ones. Yeah. They're the same, uh, they're the same firepower. They're both 30, pr they're both 30, uh, proof. So. Alright, let's see this one. Oh, this one smells very different. Yeah, I do not get breakfast cereal out of this one. No, I think we're gonna get pain. It doesn't really have a smell, to be honest with you. That's what kind of worries <laughs> me. Like, how do you, how do you include all that and dairy and, and it doesn't smell? Well, it really doesn't have a smell. Let's let's find out what it tastes <laughs> See, like then. Mm. There's definitely cream in the front end, but in the back end, it's all trying to talk to you at the same time. <laughs> yeah. And this one's not terrible either, but this like this one you have to have cold. Yeah, yeah. This one, this this, this is not that good at room temperature. But uh, <laughs> I mean, it could be worse. I think what does it for me is the back end. You get a lot of like all those different liquors that that are trying to mix at the end. Yeah. So you get that cream. So it's it, so it's kind of like this on the front end, but then it's just. A bleh. <laughs> the tail end. <laughs> this is... See, I, I thought this is... You can have both of these at a party because 
This is what you have when you're hanging out with your family. This is what you have when you're hanging out with your friends. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not bad. I don't know. No, it. it's, it's definitely not bad, but I feel like this one is going to hit much harder than the other one. Chill, pour into bowl. So they definitely are Pour into a you. bowl? Yeah, they want you to just pour this whole thing into uh, a bowl. Now I'm tempted to try this with cereal. I, I mean... How... Uh, it's a rough morning. I... <laughs> so, this could be a rougher day. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean... And full disclosure, we're not big eggnog drinkers. Yeah. In fact, when I brought this home, Courtney was like, Oh my god, we're drinking eggnog all day today. And I'm like, no, it's for, it's for the show. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to go benchmark. I have to agree. I think the benchmark is... Uh... Tastes is, like Christmas. Is... <laughs> I never understood that. It tastes like Christmas. To me, Christmas tastes like pine needles. I thought you were going to say Chinese food. That too. <laughs> Look. So. <laughs> so. I. my So I'm, I'm Jewish. And, which, which, and we keep up the tradition of having Chinese food every year on Christmas. Because it's good. <laughs> it's like, uh, what is that? Um, uh, a Christmas story? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so, what's your vote? Um, benchmark. Benchmark. Benchmark has got. But I, I like your description. That's one for family. This one's for friends. Yes. Both are gonna have a good time. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're they're both good. They're both different good. circumstances. Um, yeah, I like them. All I right. would drink them. You would drink them. I I'd will. probably I'd drink them both too. But that is a long line of holiday special Tavern on Tap. Make sure that you check us out on Twitch where we uh, discuss and drink more alcohol. Make sure you check uh, us out on Twitter. That's twitter.com slash tavern where you can probably get an insight of what we're going to taste next and kind of funny pictures. Uh, you're going LARPing soon, so yes, we'll have to see some pictures of that. Not this weekend, but next weekend. So, yeah, definitely get some pictures of that if you ever wanted to know what LARPing is about. Uh, and go check it out and follow us and send us your eggnog. What is your eggnog secrets? Are we not drinking these right? I mean, I don't know what the proper eggnog glassware yeah. besides a mug <laughs> with antlers on them. <laughs> I feel like that's proper, though. That is proper. These these are probably not a little fancy. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit, a bit much. <laughs> But, but, but hey, it did the job. You make do. So send in your eggnog suggestion. We might do a quick video with them if we get a good one. And uh, see y'all later. Cheers. <laughs>